Hello and welcome to Beyond Borders Briefing, where we bring you the latest news and insights from around the world. In today's episode, we have a special report on a historic event that happened yesterday, the return of a sample from an asteroid that could potentially threaten life on Earth. Yes, you heard that right. A NASA probe, called OSIRIS-RX, has successfully brought back dust and rocks from an asteroid named Bennu, which is considered to be the most dangerous rock in the solar system. Why is Bennu so dangerous? Well, because it has the highest probability of impacting Earth of any known asteroid. Scientists estimate that there is a 1 in 2,700 chance that Bennu will hit our planet in the next century. If that happens, it could unleash a devastating explosion equivalent to 1,200 megatons of TNT. But don't panic just yet. NASA has a plan to prevent such a catastrophe. By studying the sample from Bennu, they hope to learn more about its composition, structure, and orbit. This could help them devise ways to deflect or destroy it if it ever poses a threat to Earth. The sample also has another important scientific value, it could reveal clues about the origin of life on Earth. Asteroids like Bennu are ancient relics from the dawn of the solar system, some even older than the planets. They contain organic molecules and water that may have been delivered to Earth by impacts billions of years ago, sparking the emergence of life. So how did NASA manage to get a piece of Bennu? It was not an easy task. OSIRIS-RX, which stands for Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, Security Regolith Explorer, was launched in 2016 and reached Bennu in 2018. It spent two years orbiting and mapping the asteroid, which is about 500 meters wide and shaped like a spinning top. In October 2020, OSIRIS-RX performed a daring maneuver, it briefly touched down on Bennu's surface and fired a burst of nitrogen gas to stir up dust and pebbles. It then collected some of the material with its robotic arm and stored it in a capsule. The capsule was released by OSIRIS-RX yesterday, as it flew past Earth at a speed of over 40,000 km per hour. It entered the atmosphere at an angle of 11.9 degrees and created a fireball in the sky as it heated up to over 2,000 degrees Celsius. A heat shield and parachutes slowed down its descent and brought it to a gentle landing in Utah's West Desert at 10.10 p.m. local time. A recovery team was waiting at the site to retrieve the capsule and transport it to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. There, scientists will open it and analyze its contents. They expect to find at least 250 grams of dust and rocks from Bennu, which is more than enough for their research. Meanwhile, OSIRIS-RX is not done yet. After releasing the capsule, it fired its engines to change its course and avoid crashing into Earth. It will now continue its journey in space and rendezvous with another asteroid called Apophis in 2029. Apophis is also a potentially hazardous asteroid that will come very close to Earth in 2029 and 2036. OSIRIS-RX will observe and measure its properties and trajectory. That's all for today's episode of Beyond Borders Briefing. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more news and insights from around the world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.